Hello everyone. In this series, we are going to talk about biographical sketches as part of academic writing. Let us look at the slides. In this series, the objectives are to sensitize learners on the features of a biographical narrative, to develop an understanding about the classroom process for writing a biographical account individually and in groups and to develop an understanding about the process of writing a biographical narrative on parents. Hello children. Hello. Okay. Have you all finished? Now here we have finished reading the lesson Maestro of the, the Vision. Hope you all have understood that lesson. Yes. yes. Can we start the discussion about the biographical sketches, the yes. narratives? Okay. Before we getting into the biographical sketches about the understanding how to write the biographical narrative, let us first discuss about these questions. Can anyone answer to this question? What is the passage about? Miss. Come on. It is about the life, traits and achievements of Dr. Vempati Chinnasatyam. Dr. Vempati Chinnasatyam, right. Yes. He now here about him only we are going to discuss like how, what all the hardships, what all the difficulties with great grit and determination he achieved his goal and he faced so many difficulties in his life. We have already come across that by reading about his life history, isn't it? Now can anyone answer to my second question children? How is, uh, how is it organized? It is organized into several paragraphs dealing with his dreams, a few events in his life, personal details, the hardships he had undergone, his contributions, awards and achievements he received. That's good. That is your observation you have given. Anyone from group 1 children? There are also paragraphs dealing with his inspirers, his disciples and his traits. Very good. Good. Anyone else from group, group 1? Who wants to add? More, come on, Mahesh. Some parts look like narratives as there are events and dialogues in them. Okay, that's good. Yes, anyone else? Come on, Anit. Some paragraphs are like the paragraphs in descriptions or essays. Okay, that's good. So now here we have come across like how even he has given the about the discourse. What type of discourse he has given it. And even remaining all others have given how these biographical sketches, that is what, what exactly biographical narrative contains okay if this is a biographical sketch we can also call it a biographical narrative like any other discourse it has a coherence and carries a title coherence is what giving more detailed impression okay now here we have about freedom fighter a discourse like now to begin with just look into i'll read out aloud just you have listen carefully. Now here this is about Subhash Chandra Bose. Subhash Chandra Bose was born on 23rd January in Katak in 1897. He was born in a rich family. When he was 5, he was admitted into a big European school. At the age of 12, he was shifted to another school where his headmaster, Beni Madhav Das, kindled the spirit of patriotism. Kindling is what? Making him to, that is showing, bringing out his interest, kindled the spirit of patriotism in him. When he was 15, he came under the profound influence of an outstanding spiritual leader, Swami Vivekananda. Did you understand what I read it now? Yes, Did you all? Were you able to hear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, here we can understand, this is not given, this, whatever we have the ideas, this is about a freedom fighter, but certain times it may not give the details properly. Just take an example, suppose about the same person, this is given in a different manner, different way. It is written here. I read out this also, the flame that fought against the British. Do you know why the date 23rd January 1897 has an eternal place in the history of Indian freedom struggles? It was on this day Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was born. 
it was quite unlikely that as a boy born in a rich family with his first education in a big European school, he would evolve as a true patriot and form an army to fight against the British. So now here these two columns, though it is about Subhash Chandra Bose, but different way it is given, the description. Are you able to understand? Yes, miss. Okay. Now, how does this biographer begin? Can anyone answer to my question? Okay, Arnav, come on, begin. The writer gives personal details of Bose first. Right, yes. Biographers take a lot of freedom in organizing the biographical sketch. Okay. We have seen here how the teacher can take excerpts from the accounts of the famous personalities and initiate a discussion based on these features. This will help learners get sensitized on the various features of biographical narratives and also provide flexibility writers use in organizing a text into various paragraphs and even sometimes into different chapters. It is not enough that learners just develop the conceptual understanding about the features of biographical narratives. In order to internalize the features, they have to write biographical sketches in the classroom. Hence, the teacher can go for brainstorming sessions to make students confident about to take up this challenge. Let's look at how we can do it in the classroom. Now here, suppose we want to write a biographical account about, now what are the details we require that you will need anyone from group 2? Come on Siri. Personal details like name, place of birth, date of birth, name of parents, etc. Very good. Anyone else? Okay, Gautam. The person's childhood days and educational background. Very good. Anyone else? Yes. Come on. A Pat. few events in the person's life and his character. His character. Okay. Yes. Next. His achievements. His achievements. Okay. Yes. Honors and awards. Honors and awards. awards. Now I'll read out about a celebrity from the film world. Can you guess who it is? You have it in your textbook. Profile of S.P. Balasubramaniam. Full name, Sripati Pandita Rajula Balasubramaniam. Date of birth, 4th June 1946. Place of birth, Konetamma Peta, Nellore District. Andhra Pradesh. Educational qualifications, engineering. Entry into film world. 1966, first film Sri 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 Mariyada Ramanna. Entry into Bollywood in the year 1980. Total number of songs he sang about 40,000. Other credits noted dubbing artist, actor. He also acted in a number of Telugu films too. TV programs, he is leading many TV programs. Awards, National Film Award for Best Male Playback Singer six times. Nandi Awards from Government of Andhra Pradesh 25 times, State Award from Tamil Nadu, State Award from Karnataka, Padma Shri Award, Padma Bhushan Award, many more laurels he has to achieve. That is still he is continuing his voice. He is rendering his voice. How will you organize the write-up children? Anyone from group 3? I think we can go for 3 paragraphs. Three paragraphs, okay. Like what? Anyone from, come on. One paragraph can be about the personal details. The contributions can go into another paragraph and the awards he received can still make an another paragraph. Okay. Do you all agree with this suggestion, children? Yes. Sir. Or anyone, do you want anyone to add it? Anyone more wants to add anything else? Come on. I think we can split the paragraph dealing with his contributions into two. One can be about his entry in the film world and other can be about his other credits. Okay, good. How do you sequence the write-up children? Miss? Anyone? I would like to begin with some personal details, then his achievements and finally his credits. Yes. Anyone more here? Yes. Okay, come on. We can begin with the awards he received and then go on to his personal details and contributions. Okay, that's good. That also can be done well you are free to de uh, decide how paragraphs are to be sequenced 
the whole piece should have coherence how will we get coherence children anyone back benchers come on shweta can give yes the sentences in each paragraph should have proper sequence any paragraph should be properly linked to the next one okay does anyone wants to add anything more children anyone here yes. among boys okay bhargav say we have to use pronouns and sentence linkers wherever necessary good he has uh, raised the point about the grammar like here one thing we have to think when we are going to start when we get ideas to write a narrative at that time you put your ideas first you need not check wherever you have done the grammatical errors once you finish once you put all the ideas together once you finish your biographical narrative later on the errors can be corrected are you able to understand yes, yes. okay recall that the students have already experienced uh, the process of writing descriptions conversations and narratives writing biographical accounts and narratives are taken up only after the basic discourse is completed so that they find it relatively easier therefore it is not necessary to go for a whole class biographical sketch and then go for writing in groups and finally writing individually biographical sketches are usually done as an individual task we have seen in the previous session how the students are guided to write biographical sketches basically there are two major inputs firstly the features of the targeted discourse secondly how to carry out the task we cannot take it for granted that all the students have mastered the skill of writing biographical narratives by now they may need further support which can be provided to them by creating a platform for sharing with their groups or peers let us now visit the classroom once again hope you all have understood what the writing of the biographical narrative okay let us listen to few more examples of the paragraph dealing with the presentations next group is there anyone ready to give the answer yes miss come on who is it come on arna begin श्रीपति पंडिता राजुल बाल सुब्रमण्यम वॉज बॉर्न ऑन फोर जून नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स इन अ प्लेस कॉल कोनेटमापेटा ऑफ नेल्यूर डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन आंध्र प्रदेश ही गॉट क्वालिफाइड इन इंजीनियरिंग वेरी गुड यस गुड प्रेजेंटेशन एंड गुड ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑल्सो एनी वन एल्स इन यूर ग्रुप कम ऑन अर्चना On 4 June 1946, a boy was born in Konnettamapet of Nellu district in Andhra Pradesh, who later became a famous singer. He is none other than Sri Pati Pandita Rajula Bala Subramanyam, popularly known as SP Bala Subramanyam. Very good. Yes. Who else wants to begin it, children? Anyone wants to give the good beginning? Come on. When the boy was born on 4 June 1946, his parents named him as Bala Subramanyam. After his education, when he got qualified in engineering, the people of Konnettamma Peta in Nell Nellore district of Andhra Pradesh wouldn't have imagined that he would be known as S P Bala Subramanyam, the famous playback singer of our own time. Very good. That's also good beginning. Which one appeals to you the most, children? Second one. Second one. Okay. Now you all are thinking that the second one is more appealing. Why? Why do you think so? Instead of stating mere facts, he has written in an indirect manner. Okay, very good. That's good point. The writer has to think how to capture the attention of the reader. Yes. Anyone from group four wants to say anything more? Yes. Come on, Akash. I would like to begin with a question. Question? Yes. Can you say that? Explain it. Have you listened to the songs of S. P. Bala Subramanyam? He is famous in our own times as a playback singer. His full name is Sri Pati Pandita Rajula Bala Subramanyam. good very good okay keeping in view the expansion of zpd the presentations are followed by the teacher's version of the narrative this will be followed by editing where feedback will be worked out leading to the refinement of the final product based on the inputs received the groups will be working on their product let's see 
uh, the refined version of a group product now. Next group now, group 5. Yes, yes, there. Come on, Farzana, begin. An engineer turned playback singer. Are you familiar with the name Sripati Pandita Radhila Balasubramaniam? Perhaps not, but you certainly know S.P. Balasubramaniam because he is the legendary playback singer of our own times. Many of the popular film songs that enchant you came out from his throat. Very good. Yes, good observation there also. Okay. Now, anyone there? Okay. When he was born on 4th June 1946 and got qualified in engineering, nobody would have imagined that one day he would be emerging as a celebrity singer. But this is what has been happening ever since he made his first entry in the film world. It was in the year 1966 and the film was Sri 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 Mariada Ramanna. His entry to the enchanting Bollywood took place 14 years later in the year 1980. Very good. Yes. You too want to say. Come on. An engineer by academic qualifications but a singer by his career. Isn't it a part of his destiny that he has been engineering his voice to produce everlasting melodies? Today at the age of 69, he has at his credits about 40,000 songs cutting across languages like Telugu, Kannada, Tamil and Hindi. More are yet to flow out from his divine throat. Isn't this an outstanding achievement? Very good. This is also a good beginning and we have listened to both the groups. I should say that even all the groups have presented very well. Okay. Now here, anyone more? Anyone is left in your group? Come on, Visha. Playback singing is not the sole domain where S.P. Balasubramaniam has left his imprint. He is also known as a leading dubbing artist, actor and a celebrity to lead many TV programs. Okay, good. That's also good uh, beginning. Anyone else left there? Joel, you too want. Uh, okay, say it. Now, is it uh, different from uh, your other uh, group? Yes, yes. Come on, begin. Awards keep flowing to him. National Film Award for the Best Male Playback Singer for six times. 25 Nandi Awards from the Government of Andhra Pradesh. Four State Awards from Tamil Nadu. Five from Karnataka. Above all, he won the Padma Shri Award for six times and finally the Padma Bhushan. Isn't this an outstanding achievement? And what more is awaiting him? Who knows? Very good. Wonderful. Now all have given good observations and good presentations. Keep it up children. Collaboration and feedback are two important pedagogical tools that lead students to the production of a refined work. In fact, there is absolutely no need to teach or explain everything. It depends on how the teacher frames questions that encourages learners to think further. The classroom processes that we have suggested here helps learners to write fairly good biographical accounts using interactive language. However, the product that has emerged is not a biographical narrative yet. From their reading experience, they might have got an intuitive idea how the biographical account becomes a narrative by incorporating small anecdotes to the text. On the other hand, the profiles that was given to them for developing biographical narratives did not have any anecdotes in them. And these anecdotes cannot be cooked up because narratives might lose its authenticity. Moreover, anecdotes from the life of a celebrity will not be easily available to the learners. In such situations, we can ask learners to write biographical narratives of their parents. This will motivate them to write a biographical narrative on people dear to them. Let's now watch how this is done in the classroom. Now let me ask you one simple question. Who do biographers write about children? Can anyone from back benches? Yes. Pranay, come on. About important and famous people like leaders, celebrities in different fields, etc. Okay. How do people become famous? Vamshi, come on. By their contributions and achievements. By their contributions and achievements, yes. Who are the people most important for you all? Our parents. Do you think so? Yes. Very good. Can anyone say, like, how will you collect? 
how do you come to know that yes you can write about them how will you begin who can say about it gopi some anecdotes some anecdotes yes you can collect some anecdotes if you want to write a biographical narrative on your father or mother will you get a few anecdotes from their life children yes yes anything more come on shravan i will ask them and find out you will ask them and find out that would be better yes you can write uh, even better description about them how many of you want to write narrative on your parents yes. everyone yes i expected that everyone what aniket don't you want to write yes okay how will you gather the information about your parents you said that you will find out from them you will collect the anecdotes you will find out from them you said okay that's good okay now here we should understand that sometimes parents may not be so well educated many such as uh, we come across uh, such parents also but with their experience and many with their experience they become more knowledgeable than educated ones how is that possible for them to become more knowledgeable because they come across so many hurdles in their life with that those coming across so many hurdles automatically they come across they learn they more they get more experience with those and those only carried on to the next generation so now whatever we are acquiring from them those are all wisdom from them isn't it their experience and we know about them more okay how is it possible for them to do that children can anyone how is it possible for them to become more knowledgeable they can collect from people who supported them they will get more support from yes that's true and next anyone else wants to add support as well as what else happening that they consider are important okay good you all have expressed your observation and your presentation also now you all sit and discuss with your friends and you try to write about your parents individually this cannot be happen this cannot be done group wise because you are going to write about your own parents so better you do one thing you sit and write your parents either mother or on father you collect and you write it and next later on you can share with your friends and you can read it out in the class so that we'll come to know what all you have observed as well as what all you have gathered information about your parents and that makes more prominent for your parents also isn't it yes. will they not feel proud that you people are gathering information about them and you are writing a biography about them definitely it makes it makes them to feel very proud writing biographical narratives about people who are important to the writer will make the writer authentic and interesting for the readers as well and both the writer and the reader will realize that a good biographical narrative emerges when the biographer is emotionally attached to the person he or she is writing about in addition to this by incorporating anecdotes into biographical accounts we can give them a different dimension students can invoke sensory perceptions and images and use language that emotionally appeal the readers let's summarize what we have discussed today let's look at the slide these are some of the features that we have discussed today sensitizing learners on the features of biographical narratives how to brainstorm learners on the writing activity sharing the write ups in groups and refining the narratives and how to guide learners to write biographical narratives individually with this we have come to the end of today's session thank you